Justin. Your comedy minute, Kara Mori, go ahead. So, you know, so that 10 days in Atlantic City really was like a fucking whirlwind. It, it just like, right. so the, you know, when you're in Atlantic City or Vegas, you know, every right. comic, there's a lot of um, casinos. So there's right. a lot of comics there. And it, at the end of the night, we'd all meet um, in a casino. So one night it was um, Max. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield's guy. Yeah, right. Exactly. Rodney, Rodney Dangerfield's guy. And then um, Carla Boove, uh, a, a bunch of guys. Anyway. Right, right, right. Get, yeah. And they're telling Rodney Dangerfield stories. Like, I mean, like you, one after the well. other, after the other, after the other. And yeah. I'm just sitting there in awe. Like, I, I couldn't even believe the stories they were telling. And then Carla Boove, actually, I don't know if you know this story, but Carla Boove no, was Sam Kinnison's best friend. Right. And he, he found out years later that Sam Kinison had slept with his wife no and shit. that, and that the child he was raising was actually Sam's Oh my God! after Sam died. I know. Could you believe that? Wow. Meanwhile, how could he not fucking know that kid had to have been fucking ugly as shit? <laughs> oh, have you seen Sam Kinison? <laughs> an ugly motherfucker. I know. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, well, that would have been the I'm first trying to move. tell you, that sure beats the little animal house story you told last time. <laughs> <laughs> Donna Lloyd, your comedy minute. Go ahead. Of a true story. True story. I went one time to downtown Trenton on a business trip and I was out of marijuana. I was looking for marijuana. Okay. And I was looking for someplace good enough to ask, you know, and cool, you know, good enough to trust. Yeah. And uh, I pulled over to this business that was on the side of the road. It was a van and he had all kinds of uh, incense and Bob Marley shirts and right. all kinds of beads and shit. So yeah. I thought that he was cool enough to ask. And so I said, well, what else you got? You got some herb? You got something else? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. So the kid next to him that was hanging around with the radio, he said, <laughs> he goes, I can go get you some herb. He goes, give me your money. Wait here and I'll be back. And I'm oh, like, man. wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know if I can trust you. And so the guy with the van and the business, he's like, look at this. Goddamn white girl coming to goddamn downtown Trenton saying she can't trust us. She come into a legitimate man's business. <laughs> and so he like reamed me up and down this man. It was so embarrassing. Right. So I gave the guy my money and waited and he came back with the weed. So ah. just because I tell you, people in New Jersey are very easy and we're, we're easy going. Scott, I don't know why I pulled that story out, but you got no, it. I Listen, I have stories where the guy didn't come back. I can relate to every bit of that story. In our <laughs> stage, your comedy minute. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I mean, so I did a depression bit um, not too long ago. And this was something I wanted to include into it, but I thought maybe it would be a little bit too dark. So I took it out. No, 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 um, no. It's not too dark for here. Nothing's too dark yeah. for here. Um, so in my, dep uh, in my depression uh, bit, of course, I'm talking a little bit about, you know, some of the symptoms of depression and how that affects you. But one of the things I wanted to say was um, that having depression is, is so difficult because um, there'll be moments where like, I'm, I want me to kill myself. And then something funny comes to my mind. I'm like, dang it. I have to postpone <laughs> this now. <laughs> this is too funny to say. Um, but I took that out of my bit. So I never actually performed that in front of an audience because I thought, well, maybe that's much i don't want them to feel bad for me i'm, I'm okay <laughs> i'm doing fine that call that pause that was comedy gold Pinar. <laughs> colin christopher right. your comedy minute go ahead my friend okay so to end this up uh set this up i guess i've been recently writing a lot of racist material okay. I mean, I, you know, i'm going back to my roots because it's just a comedy one but I, I I wrote this bit that I've been having fun with recently, uh, which is um it goes, I've been reading into about China's social credit system, okay. which is pretty interesting. I, like I know it existed like for a long time, but I just started getting into it. It was pretty interesting because they have you know a lot of 
they have cameras everywhere that can recognize people's faces yeah. and they'll reward people based on yeah. like what they do and give them a score, right? I'm like, isn't it crazy that China's technology is so advanced now that they can tell apart, you know, Chinese people? Um, <laughs> um yeah, you know, because uh, there are 14, 1.4 billion people, there are 1.4 billion people in China, there are three faces. Yeah, there's a squinty, less squinty, and Elon Musk. And I mentioned, uh, have, you, have you guys seen the, the uh, Chinese Elon Musk on, on, uh, on social media? You know, the guy that is going like, Ha! Oh, I am Elon Musk! Look at my Tesla! <laughs> and I, and I, and I, I tell the crowd that... Um, Jake Coulter, your comedy minute. Go ahead. So, people tell me all the time that I got chicken legs. Like, it's a choice. But... How else am I supposed to attract black women? Um, like getting a dog pregnant creates werewolves. Getting a horse pregnant yeah. creates centaurs. Flushing your cum down the toilet sends it to the ocean. Getting fish pregnant creating mermaids. <laughs> what, in <the laughs> hell? what in the hold on, hold on, hold on. You may need you may need to go back a little bit. You may do, <laughs> may need to go back over those last four or five for me. Uh, yeah, flushing your come down the toilet sends it to the ocean to get fish pregnant, getting uh creating mermaids. You never thought that as a kid. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> It would suck finding out that a mermaid was my daughter. Um, because then I gotta go find some scuba shit so I could go find some octobitch named Ursula and somehow convince her to use her magic to take my new kid's voice away before my new kid tells someone else that I'm their dad. And okay, okay. <laughs> moral, moral of the story... If y'all see me and Octavitch out here doing tentacle porn, subscribe.